what's up you guys and cc back with another video and today's video is going to be a two in one we are going to do hair as well as some makeup so i have some hair here from julia hair and i'm just showing you guys what it looks like it's a 24 inch brazilian straight wig they sent this to me for review so thank you so much to them and i'm just going to apply it for you guys before we do our makeup so my face my skin everything is clean and you want to make sure your your skin is clean before you start putting on a wig and putting on hair glue and all of that stuff because that's how the wig sticks once your skin is clean you don't want to put it on grease or makeup or anything like that because your wig will not held hold down as well so here i'm just using my wig glue and i'm gonna go ahead and get the wig into place Now you guys, I am no expert, but um, the process is fairly simple. I'm still learning my way around lace front wigs and gluing them down, making the lace melt, all that stuff. So you guys know I am no expert, but this is just my process to make the wig look as good as possible on myself. Now after putting several layers of that glue on and letting it dry down clear, that is also another key. You want to make sure the glue is clear before you go ahead and apply the wig. I'm just going to go ahead and get the wig in place here. And one thing I usually do beforehand, one, I'll have the wig on my head but pushed back a little bit. That's what I usually do and for some reason I didn't do it this day. I will also make sure the part and everything is done correctly on the wig before I put that on. And that's another thing that I did not do beforehand. So you guys will see me do all of that stuff. on the makeup I've tied my hair up trying to make sure the lace is laid down flat and now I'm just going to go ahead again and start the makeup I pulled out a palette that you guys probably haven't seen in a while. It's the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe from the Vault Collection, the Bling Boss Palette. And I actually really do love this palette. I love that whole um, that whole Vault Collection. It was just amazing to me. So I wanted to pull a product out that I hadn't used in a while, and that's what I did. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a pretty simple look using this palette. I wanted it to be a little bold, but still simple. So that's what I was going for here.
So here we are moving into the face. I'm just priming using that Fenty Matte Primer. I've been so into that primer again lately. It's one of my favorite primers ever, but I'll put stuff down. Y'all know how I do. Put stuff down, pick it back up, put it down, pick it back up. And I'm in my, one of my pick it back up phases. <laughs> and I just absolutely love that primer for mattifying the face. Definitely gonna be one of my staples this summer. Fenty, I'm going to use the Fenty foundation as well as the NARS Tinted Glow Booster. I have been mixing that NARS Tinted Glow Booster with like every foundation I've been using and you guys have been really complimenting me on my skin. So that has been like the secret to my flawless skin. If you guys want to see a full fledged foundation routine, just let me know down below in the comments and I can certainly do that for you. I'd love to show you just how I do just my full coverage beautiful flawless face so let me know if you want to see that Setting powder is another product that I've been completely obsessed with. It's the Pat McGrath Sublime Perfection Powder. I think that's what you call it. It has a long ass name, but it is one of my favorite powders for setting underneath the eyes lately. I've been using that powder nonstop. If you guys would have watched my March favorites, which I just posted, I will go ahead and link that in this video and you guys will see a lot of these products featured there. now that the makeup is complete we're gonna go back into the hair and just finish that up like I mentioned earlier I do have to do the part 
I um, did not do the part before I put this wig on for some reason. I decided to do it while it was on my head. I will tell you it is much harder to do it on your head than it is off of your head on like a mannequin head or whatever it is that you use. So I would definitely recommend not doing it this way. <laughs> can't say that the hair was super soft and super easy to work with I still have this hair in my head I've actually been wearing it for about two weeks now and I have several pictures on Instagram if you guys haven't seen them yet but this hair is actually so easy to work with and it's just so soft it curls really well and I definitely really love this hair from Julia hair so if you guys are in the market for a new wig or some bundles you can definitely check out the links down below and and go ahead and purchase yourself some good hair honey because I have really been taking to this wig but this is really it you guys you guys will just see me playing with it and getting it in the right shape the way I want it but this is really it I love this wig love the way it looks on my head love how soft it is it didn't shed or anything like that and I'm in love with this makeup honey so if you guys like videos like this, quick two-in-ones, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.